In this video, we are going to talk about the specifically about the data type character in R. So, let's begin by specifying that a character is also always surrounded by a quotes. So, if I ask for the number one uh, surrounded by quotes, is actually the letter, the character representing the number one, and not the number. If I try to sum that with another number, it will give me an, an error. So characters are like words or sentences, names of stuff. It's not, it's not used for calculations. And so let's say we have uh, an index and we want to concatenate, to join this together with uh, some name, for instance, for showing the, the results. Uh, so for that purpose, we use the command paste. We pass. Uh, the strings in each parameter that we want to join together. So we see. So let's say I have a file name called weather and I have um, the day of this that this was collected. So I can use the paste command to to create a single name with the both with both values, but we can see that there is a a separation between them, a space separating them. Uh, this happens because R um, by default uh, separate them with a space, so we have to specify that we don't want anything separating them. Additionally, you can uh, put here whatever you want to use to separate the names, let's like for instance a dot. Uh, but let's say we have now the opposite case, we want to split this string, this character vector in some, uh, in, in, in by names, I don't know, something different. So le let me create first an example here, uh, a date, a string representation of a date, which would be something like zero one. I'm just coming up with some random date here. Okay, let's say we want to separate just a year from this uh, name, this character. So what we would do is to use the common substring. Substring, the parameters, the first one is the variable itself that you want to separate. Then the where to begin, the position, in this case is the seventh one to the eleventh one, which is the last one. So. so just the year. Instead of using that, we could use, for instance, the length of this variable if we wanted from the seventh position, the seventh position to the end of it. And str is split. So it's str from string split. The first parameter is the again the the variable that we want to to split, then the character that we want to use to to split them. In this case, the minus symbol. Let's attribute this to a variable. Okay, so we see uh, the now the the date is separated by the minus symbols. Okay, let's say now we wanted to to replace those minus symbols by dots, for instance then we would use the command uh, g sub so this command is have a different order of parameters first we we say what we want to replace which is the minus symbol then we say to what we want to replace that is the dot and then the variable will contain in the characters you see it's replaced uh, g sub, uh, our, uh, this is string commands when they have the g in the front means all and without the g means just the first occurrence. So just sub replaces just the first time it finds it. Uh, we have also the command gr grep, which uh, it's used in vectors to find which elements contain the string that you ask. Let's say you have a stri uh, list of names and you want to find your name in this list of names. And so first you pass what you're trying to find, B, 
and then you pass the the vector just create uh, any example of a vector here so you can see that the b is present on the second position of this vector to try to find the characters inside a specific character another character we use the regular expressions the common this is regects br and let's say we want to find the slash on the date so oh actually there is no slash on the, the date in fact if I should search for the minus symbol so it returns minus one, one when it doesn't find it found in the third position there is a minus and that's true right here in the third position uh, we have also like I said if you add a G in the front of it it will return the position of all the occurrences of this string there so in the third and in the sixth position of the variable so that's useful for instance when you want to separate sen sentences by uh, some uh, punctuation marks for instance uh, regular expressions are really powerful tools to detect patterns in text but it's way out of the basic which is what I pr proposed for this course so there is many tutorials that teach how to use regular expressions to detect patterns and another thing when you when you want to compare strings you use the twice equal symbols twice times the equals equal symbols so is a equal to b false is a equal to a true uh, need to be a little bit careful when comparing strings because sometimes you see strings on tables but they are actually factors so that's why you need to use the class commands to discover if they are factor or strings because if they are factors actually they are numbers this the string representation is just like a, a framework around it but if you compare them it will be compared to the number and not to the to their string uh, another thing that need to be careful when using strings is in data frames searching let's say for instance you have a million records of phone numbers and instead of using the just the numeric part of the number the phone number you're using other characters like a, a, the minus symbol separating the, the parts of it which turns it into a, a character and searching on very large databases by character is way 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 slower than searching by a number so it's better when you have to search for an index in a data frame I always prefer numeric uh, representations and that's precisely why factors are used a lot of times in R because factors are numbers so the search is really quick even though you see a string is actually internally is a number so in the next class we're we going to talk a little bit about the date date and time data types in R see you there <coughs>